Our last speaker before the tea um, is Lloyd, and he has presented at our colloquium um, in the past, and he's also uh, e-learning champion, and he's from the sports sciences um, department, and he's just this off this morning. He's here to show us something new that he he's explored just recently, like last week, uh, with his students, and he wants to share that with you. Thank you. Okay, good morning everyone. Good morning. Shows how much that was. <laughs> I think we must be very strategic in how we position our presenters. <laughs> After Thalma, I think it's just downhill from there. It's really, it's going to be very intimidating Thalma presenting after you, but I'll do my best. So, uh, so how did I go about doing this? This, this presentation is a, it's an online application. And I've always grappled with students' um, difficulties around learning. And what I found very attractive was the online platform. I thought it was very, students engage with this quite easily. And uh, um, they tend to, to apply their minds a lot more productively when they engage in a, in, a, in a platform that they can connect with. So in the past, um, because the university had I think, difficulties or challenges with, with, with um, resources, uh, I did a course a few years ago on using clickers uh, and how then do we engage students in, um, in the classroom with what, you know, while you're busy with your teaching. And the problem with this was that there were very few departments who had actually the clickers um, tools to use. I think physics was one of them. I think maybe uh, the uh, e-learning um, or the CIECT group also had some, but it wasn't enough for you to go around to a full classroom. So we couldn't really engage all the students with the limited number of, of clickers were available. But I, I found this to be very attractive um, using the, the clickers option. And so you could imagine how excited I was when Terence came to me, and Terence Pretorius, who is our timekeeper, is the, one of the staff members at CIECT, and he says, try this Kahoot um, application. I think you'd find it very, very exciting. And I said, fine, let's have a look at it and see, and see what it offers. And so we went through this, and, and um, the nice thing about this is that, one, it's fairly easy. Uh, it's, it's free of charge um, uh, on the internet. Uh, although I think if you, if you look at the, the full range of affordances that is available to this, to this uh, application, I think there are cost implications that come into play. But I think we just use the entry level one, and I think at this, at this point we found this to be quite useful. Uh, the entry level one gives you very, very basics, and there are shortcomings, and you'll see when we start the actual presentation. Uh, for one thing, I didn't find very attractive was the was the music. Oh my word! <laughs> Talk about the 60s and 70s. This really goes back. But okay, you'll see when we do the presentation. So we spent some time together. Terence spent about an hour or so with me. Took me through what this code was all about and how to make use of this. And then we said, okay, let's put together the presentation and see how well this works. So f luckily for me, I, I had developed a lot of material around this over the, over the years. And so I really only made use of one of the options inside this, in this, in, in this application. So I use primarily the quiz section, but they do have true and false, they have matching answers and so on, and quite a number of other options as well. So I didn't get a, a, a chance to explore all of the other options that's available to this, uh, on this application. But nevertheless, I found this to be quite useful. And so we put this together, and I think this is the nice part about the Kahoot, is that it's very easy to, to, to use and to develop as a, as, a, as a lecturer. And you can use this quite nicely in your classroom as well. And so we found that uh, when I did this presentation, we moved through, because you also remember a, a week or so ago, we also had disruptions at the university, and so we had to move in class off campus. And so when I did this presentation at the Health Sciences Faculty in Belleville, they've also got very, very good connectivity, and so this was a very, very good uh, option for, for, for the presentation. And so I got a group of students together, and then we, we went through this, this, this presentation. 
And so before I actually play the presentation for you, uh, maybe just to mention to you that the, so the, the train that I went through was with Terence, and so he actually uh, went through the entire package with me. And then once we made the recording, once again, thanks to the staff at the CHS faculty, so they did the recording uh, of, the, of the presentation, and then they uh, shared that with me. And then the editing, so the presentation was about an hour long, but then the editing was done by Andre Daniels, who is the recorder now uh, for, for this presentation. And so, um, so we had a really nice team of, of support staff from CIECT that really actually supported me from the, the, uh, the outset of this, 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 the, you know, this journey until the actual final presentation that you will see now uh, when we do this. And so, uh, so what we did was, I did, the, I did the lesson, and essentially, you'll see in the presentation, it's, it's a revision session on one aspect of the work, which is on the nervous system. And so the whole idea was to understand, do the students really uh, understand the work that was presented by another lecture? So I was actually revising the work on behalf of another lecture. But the main thing was to test this, this, this application and see how well the students received this. So the one was to engage students in learning, but the second one was, was the application beneficial for the students? Did they learn something out of this, out of using this tool? And so there are some benefits and some weaknesses. I'm not going to bore you with all the details around this. So I think what we'll do is look at the, at the, at the presentation, and then you can see more, more or less what, what, what are the, 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 the affordances from this application. Yeah. So I arranged with Mr. Nwani to do a revision session with you. But the idea also is to pilot a, a online game as well as a tool to see how well this works, whether you find this interesting. And if that is the case, you can look at how we can use this then for subsequent uh, sessions with the students coming in next year and following years as well. So the first time we're actually trying this game, this online game, for educational purposes. And we'll see how well this is. So, so what's going to happen is, so those of you who came in, this is the website, www.code.it, so you can use that. And once you're in the, into the site, and then that is the password or the pin you need to get into the game. And then once you're in, so you can see at the moment I'm in the file on you. So there's eight of you, so wait for the other three to sign up. And once you're all in, then we will start the game. So essentially what we're going to be doing is the whole, the whole session is going to be based on covering different sections of the nervous system. But it's all going to be on multiple choice. Okay. Okay, so here's it. The Okay. So this is the first question. There's your selection. We only have five people. Okay. And all five were correct. All five were correct. So the 45 people participated in this one. And the other three. You didn't answer. Yeah, you didn't answer or they answered answer correctly. Are you okay? Are you good with that? Chen? <laughs> Chen, that's it? Okay. And the point score then is Ashley, Darren, Eddie, and Chris. Nice. Okay. So, this question, Chen.
seem, and most of you seem to know the correct answer for most of the questions. And so, thank you guys. Thank you. Okay, so now you've got an image. Okay, so the image. So you've got three types of fibers. As you can see, many of them found this quite animated and uh, quite engaging. And uh, you'll see towards the end, when we actually brought in the images, I found that this is the part that, that I found difficulty with, because students couldn't see the image very, very clearly, and so they couldn't really answer. So I wasn't sure, were they getting it wrong because of the fact they couldn't see the, the image, or they didn't know the work. So this I found to be a bit of a challenge, and I think it also depends on what, uh, which part of the package you actually you, know, you get access to. So I think if you, if, you, if you buy the full package, you probably got more options that you can actually maybe then bring images that are, are uh, a lot more visible. So that is the presentation. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is this new uh, E2. Okay.